it is rather easy to make one fridge with one compressor. But what if you need a fridge, freezer, and an ice maker running on the same compressor at completely different temperatures? EcoFlow Glacier makes it possible. We have received a lot of questions from our users asking what are some meaningful innovations that EcoFlow has put into Glacier. Some of you may know EcoFlow as a reliable partner for sustainable energy. But our vision of collecting and storing energy is only a part of a full picture. Using energy in a smart, innovative and effective way is also an important part for our vision. And one of the steps we take towards this is through our new EcoFlow smart devices, such as Wave 2, Blade and today's main topic, Glacier. So why did EcoFlow make 3-in-1 portable fridge? How is it capable of making 18 ice cubes in only 12 minutes? What's new about it compared to a traditional portable fridge? Glacier has 38 liters of usable storage, but it's relatively small in its size. So how did we achieve that? How does the fridge actually work? How does the de-icing bottle work? Let's find out the answer together later in this video. Different kinds of food require different storage temperatures. And it's hard to throw all the food you might need on a weekend trip in one compartment. You don't want your frozen meat to melt in the fridge. And you don't want your tomatoes to turn into ice cubes in a freezer. A dual zone design just makes sense. But there are already existing fridges like this out there. So we thought, how about adding an extra layer of comfort for our users and giving them an opportunity to turn water into ice almost instantly. And if you're too young for a whiskey on rocks, a little icy lemonade won't hurt too. Fresh. But anyway, let's get back to the tech. First, with existing portable refrigerators on the market, users can only make ice with molds, but Glacier comes with its very own ice machine, making 18 ice cubes or ice bullets to be precise in only 12 minutes. Second, for other portable refrigerators on the market, and the most common ones are only powered with 12 volt cigarette lighter cord or via AC adapter. Few have an external battery attachment. So we decided to provide Glacier with an internal but swappable battery for the best space and usage efficiency. The 298 watt hour battery can run it for up to 40 hours. And just as a little touch of convenience, we have added a Type-C port here so you can use it as a power bank for all your digital devices. Having a dual zone fridge is great, but not always convenient. What if you need to throw a tomahawk steak and a two liter bottle of soda in there? Well, you're going to need more horizontal space. No problem. Just pull out the partition and enjoy a full-on single mode fridge and freezer. Plus, Glacier knows automatically whether it's in single or dual mode. There is a magnetic sensor in the bottom of the fridge and a little magnet at the bottom of the split board. So it understands if the board is there or not and controls two evaporators so they can run at a different temperature in case of dual zone scenario or evenly match the temperature in case of a single zone scenario. And of course, you can adjust the temperature separately whether it's on a panel or via EcoFlow app. This refrigerator has a usable capacity of 38 liter, but it still maintains a relatively compact size. The mystery lies in a choice of insulation materials. Yep, the materials we use on the walls fridge is very different from a traditional PU foam fridge. The Glacier uses a thinner material called VIP. Although we do treat our customers as a very important people, but in this case, VIP stands for vacuum insulation panels. And this VIP panel has eight to 10 times better insulation performance while keeping it very thin and saving that precious space. The principle of a glacier refrigeration is very simple. As you can see, there are three thin 
copper tubes and a three-way valve. These three copper tubes respectively connect the refrigerator to a large and small compartment as well as an ice machine. By controlling the switch of the three-way valve, we can control how the refrigerant flows into those three copper tubes to realize the refrigerant delivery to the large and small boxes as well as the ice box respectively. Each time, the refrigerant can only flow through one tube. In case of large and small box refrigeration, the refrigerant will be fed into two tubes in turn with an interval of about three minutes. When making ice, it will first supply refrigerant to the large and small compartments for one minute to achieve an insulation and then to the ice maker. On average, it takes 12 minutes to create 18 ice bullets, but eventually the ice generation speed might vary a bit depending on the water temperature. This is a de-icing button. You press it to release the ice that froze on top of the ice machine metal heads. In the middle of copper pipe, between the compressor and the condenser, a branch is added, which is connected to the refrigerant pipe of the ice making box. And in between the branch and the refrigerant pipe, there is a de-icing valve. When de-icing is needed, the de-icing valve is open. Then high temperature and pressure gas from the compressor will flow directly from the branch copper pipe to the ice box, thus heating up the metal probes and melting the ice in contact with the head, resulting in the de-icing. Ingevol Glacier is the first of its kind to include a plug-in battery and an ice maker. It enables campers, explorers, and outdoor lovers alike to take the comfort of the indoors to the great outdoors. With a direct solar charging option, Glacier is a sustainable solution for keeping food chilled and beverage ice cold anytime, anywhere. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to write a comment, or if you like this video, please share it with someone who might need a portable refrigerator. My name is Tim, and I'll see you in the next episode of Meaningful Innovation.